Mark Dayton, did you notice the new IDs have your name discombobulated so that when certain people look at your identification, they might use your middle name versus your first name, which would be like identity theft. And as you steal people's identity by not writing down the correct name. Now I noticed, because I carry my identification cards with me, how they looked different. But for me, using my ID, right now, if there was any indiscretion about Sharon Lynette Martin, where again, Jody, Jackie, Ilhan, Bobby and Don, there's a issue with my birth right. Now, under the law, I was born in 1969. Mark Dayton was not in office. Tim Waltz was not in office. If I'm not mistaken, Mayor Frey, Sharon Sales Belton was not in office and my identification through my birth certificate was printed through equipment using the state of Minnesota's identification system. Now, under Sharon Martin's law, 69 is the year that she knows Sharon Lynette Martin was born and her original birth certificate, which Mildred Martin put in the hands of Michael James Baker, James Michael Baker, by the way, who gave it to me. Michael Baker gave me my original birth certificate. So when I lived on Oliver, 3625 Oliver, for one year, 2013, I, Sharon Martin, had my original birth certificate with the oldest paper being used that it was printed on, Michael Cooper Sr. And as that birth certificate was then put in my hand, I then went downtown and got an updated notarized copy where it was in the drawer in the kitchen as you walked in the house in the back door of 3625 Oliver. My original birth certificate plus the one I got from the state that had my name on it, Sharon Martin. I was born baby girl Martin. Baby. B-A-B-Y G-I-R-L Martin. Baby girl Martin, because my mother did not name me until after I left the hospital. And back then there wasn't a notary in the family like my father or Otis Mays who could have notarized the paper at that time. I too was going to take that course, like I was going to take the tax course, because again, I just wanted to be educated in certain systems. And as I think right now, you're playing games with my identification, Bobby Joe Champion. Don Samuels, Keith Ellison, Otis Mays, where Sharon L. Martin, with that identification card, by the way, that identification card where the names is jumbled and someone might use your middle fucking name as your first name because they're ignorant and they can't read the new fucking identification cards that was just printed under Tim Waltz where Mark Dayton refused to do it. You'll be very clear, Tim Waltz, how I tag you for every I fucking identification card where you might be trying to steal someone's fucking identity. Do you understand now how I think I'm an attorney? Huh? And how as a class of women where you might be abusing my motherfucking rights you be very clear, sir. I am not in the mood today. Verizon. You be very clear. We will have a good reputation or we will have a bad reputation. And I did not fault Verizon in any way, shape, or form as their contractual obligations was being formed with the United States government where they, again, got access to the satellite to give people like me a cell phone at a cost. Not like my ex who was paying per minute, right? And every time he paid his cell phone bill, he took out the mouths of me, Shayla, and little Michael. Debo and lazy, my motherfucking dogs. 
I had a black lab and a motherfucking Rottweiler and they were beautiful dogs. Beautiful motherfucking dogs. Ha, huh, humane society. And when you took Lazy, Lazy attacked you. When you took Debo, I dropped him off. You wanna talk about Rex? Rex a motherfucking million. I wanna talk about Rex and pedigree. Pedigree. Fuck you, Don, Bobby, Keith. I want to talk to Pedigree, a national chain dog food. You're beneath them. They're way above you, motherfucker.